Hello everybody, how are we doing today? So in this video I'm sitting a little further away from the camera so you can maybe, you know, just whatever. I'm yeah, trying something new. It seems like a lot of YouTubers like to sit at like this kind of distance or at this angle. So I'm try that. I'm trying to improve the video quality a little. I'm going to be getting the glasses in a few days, so, you know, look out for that. E. So anyway, um... <clears throat> Today we're going to be reacting to my favorite band to react to. We are going to be doing Church of the Cosmic Skull. Yes, love these guys. They're the they're the closest equivalent we have in modern day to Pink Floyd. Uh, love these guys. They are apparently a, a legitimate a legitimate religious organization, a, a possible cult, but I don't know that for sure for sure. But uh, they apparently have a fairly solipsistic belief system, like uh, reality is an illusion. And admittedly, you know, our construct of reality really is just signals being interpreted by our brains, and any attempt at determining where those signals are coming from would be just guesswork. Our brains essentially create our reality for us, so we don't really know for certain what is truly real or not. But anyway, um... <clears throat> this is Church of the Cosmic Skull, and the question is, is Satan real? Let's go. Seeing your way of living, so I don't think I'll be giving you any more. I heard it in the water.
I'll be given anymore. Anymore. I heard it in the water. Anymore. Anymore. I heard it from your daughter. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Love these guys. I think there's some, like, modern-day, modern Opeth that sounds a lot like this. I think there's also some ghost stuff that sounds like this, too. This is sort of this modern, sinister rock. Sinister, pseudo-satanic rock. And this is sort of a halfway instrumental, so it was very interesting. Musically, as always, this is like an instant five monocles. Just no fucking way, bruh. The, there's just so many different transitions from part to part. There's just so many... Good, good examples of their instrumentation and playing. It's like, I can't make this shit up. These guys are fantastic. They're great. Like, it'd be hard to find musicians more skilled than these guys. Although I'm sure you could, but you'd have to, you'd have to really look. <clears throat> and there's just so much to like about it. The, it starts out cool and relaxed and gets all sinister for a solid minute and then... <laughs> It's like, it warms you up, it, t or it turns you on fire, it sets you on fire, and then it cools you down with a nice pail of water. It's just, it's just so wonderfully, it's just so wonderfully transitioned, it's so... <laughs> it's just perfect, it's the right length, it's the right pacing, and, and it achieves the effect that they're usually going for, which is to try and sort of shock or terrify the listener, and they definitely accomplish that. These guys are just too good. <clears throat> so lyrically this is uh, <clears throat> says I've seen your way of living so I don't think I'll be giving any more I've heard it in the water I've seen your way of giving so I don't think you'll be living anymore I've spoken with your daughter is Satan real well this is very interesting so it says I've seen your way of living so I don't think I'll be giving anymore now what the hell do you suppose that means now, that's a very obvious rhyme, uh, living, giving. That's not the most inventive way to use a rhyme like that. But, uh... I don't think I can necessarily, uh, take away any points for that, because that's, that's pretty decent. Uh... But as to what it, what it means, is like, I guess... You know, they see someone, and the, and the way they live, and they think... That because of the way they live, they don't want to give anything away. Because maybe they think their way of living is wasteful. And so they want to be careful with what they have. Now, I heard it in the water. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. The sonar or something. <laughs> like, I've seen your way of giving, so I don't think you'll be living anymore. Right, so I guess that's like someone has been giving away so much that they have nothing left for themselves. Like, they're they're so generous that it's literally killing them. Now, that kind of thing is very rare, but it does sometimes happen. It's been witnessed, it's been seen. But, uh... I've spoken with your daughter. Is Satan real? Well, talking to what? Talking to their kid about whether or not Satan exists? <laughs> I'm not sure what the lyrics honestly have to do with the title. It's, hmm. I've seen your way of living, so I don't think I'll be giving any more. I heard it in the water. I've seen your way of giving, so I don't think you'll be living any more. So, I don't know what. Is this maybe anti-generosity, anti-Christian? I'm not sure. The details of what they're really getting at are kind of vague. So, I can't really pick out any uh, clear-cut meaning out of this other than just, you know, hey, save a little for yourself. Uh, that's, the only, that's the only real meaning I, kind of, I honestly get out of this. And with the rhyme scheme, I have to admit, this is probably the first time lyrically that I've been a little disappointed in The Church of the Cosmic Skull. I have been a little disappointed in this one. But given how 
how good the music itself was, I think I can safely elevate this to a four. Otherwise, it would just be a three. Very average. It's four on the account of a five monocle performance in instrumentation. So, man, these guys just... The song snob is always happy when he hears Church of the Cosmic Skull. It's, it's like a fine wine. <laughs> it's the finest of wines. Whining and dining. <clears throat> so, uh, anyway, yeah. Another five, guys, with four on the lyrics. Anyway, peace.